Welcome to another 5-Minute Tech Tip. I'm Dave Casuto with another tech tip on InDesign and Styles. If you haven't checked out my first video on InDesign Styles, go ahead and check that out now. This is going to be a very particular one about styles, paragraph styles working with bullets. I'm going to do another one on character styles as well as on object styles, so check those out. So, um, object styles just to refresh you, excuse me, paragraph styles just to refresh your memory are basically save formats you can use over and over and over again. It's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to allow it, be, to allow it to be consistent across the board and also allow you to make changes to it on a more global level. So in this case, I'm going to make some changes here on the front end and I'm going to make this into a bulleted list. So how do I do that? Very simply, I highlight all my text. I'm going to go over here to my uh, paragraph settings over here. Notice how this is split in half. This is my paragraph settings here. And I'm just going to make this into a bulleted list. Okay, that's fantastic, right? Now all I'm going to do very easily is make this into a paragraph style. Okay, because I want to use that again and again and again on other things. Okay, that's awesome. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key on the keyboard, click on the Create New Style, and I'm just going to call this ING for Ingredients. I'm going to say bullets. Now you will see that I have no paragraph style and da da da, and it tells me everything what's happening here to it. Now I can very easily change a lot of these things here as well, including there's my bullets and numbering. All right, so if you wanted to, you could actually change this to numbers right here. If you change your mind later on, I could change it to something else here if I wanted to. Okay, and also notice you can add in another character on here as well. If you don't like the choices they've given you, or you can see this is all the ones from within Minion Pro, okay? And then you can also go into like symbols, you can go into wingdings, you can do all kinds of good stuff here. All right, so I'm just gonna choose this one, click okay, and there that is, cool. And then that is going to be my bullets, all right? Now you'll also notice that some other options here that I could change here on the fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click okay, for right now okay you'll notice there's my change but I'm not sure what the other changes are gonna look like so I'm gonna make the change right now I'm gonna double click on this come back to here and I'm gonna come back to bullets and numbering and I'm gonna say well what does this actually do I click on this and we'll see how it's actually moving in a little bit why is it doing it because of this little preview option down below very important I always like to have preview there Okay, that's great. That's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, now those of you who want to get a little bit more advanced in this, you can actually incorporate character styles into your paragraph styles. Whoa, total mind blown, right? You can actually, if you had a character style that said, hey, listen, I want my bullets to be a certain size and a certain color, etc., you can do that if you had the character style already saved. So watch my other videos on character styles to see how to create character style. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, so we're good. And then just note that I could change my font to be a different font, etc. So let me just go ahead and just choose that. All right, you can see what that's going to do. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, great. For the sake of argument, let's say I love that. I click OK. And very easily, let's watch this happen now where I can go down to here and make this into my ingredient bullets and look at that magic don't have to worry about that okay and I said you know what I didn't really like that font to begin with and because it's a style all I got to do is change it here I don't need to change individually don't do that you're doing it the wrong way that's not what Adobe wants don't upset Adobe so what I'm gonna do just click away the kind of neutral area double click back on in bullets for me and I'm gonna change my font to something a little bit less crazy so let's try Oswald I'll see what that's gonna look like okay not too bad make that a little bit smaller and then notice you can change a lot of the other things too if you want and I really really like that I click OK and then that's great but what about the other guys yep they changed it there too love that okay and you will notice that by accident because I had this selected this was actually changed to it. You can very easily change that back to basic paragraph. That's pretty much where you start off almost every time. 
you're in basic paragraph. So if you wanted all of your basic paragraph, whatever, to look a certain way, you could actually change the basic paragraph to be something else, right? So you could actually make a kind of a more sweeping change to all of them if you wanted to. Okay, so I'll make it Oswald, but I'll make them smaller. And now all of these that have no formatting, okay, this is going to be basic format, basic paragraph. Okay, great. Anything that didn't have one will now have that basic paragraph. Okay, this was already pre-formatted. That's why it wasn't changed. Okay, so that's that. So hopefully this was helpful for you. This gives you at least a good foundation of how Styles 2.0 works working with the bullets. Okay, so watch both of my videos. If you have any requests on other kind of styles thing you want to incorporate, because it does get pretty advanced. This is just a more introductory fundamentals of styles with paragraph styles. So watch my upcoming video on character styles and also object styles. Okay, so uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, check us out at sftechtraining.com, and we'll see you in the next video.